Over the last few weeks, I've been working on this bedroom and it's finally done. So all the videos that I've just released, all the little projects, the DIYs, they're ready and they're all in this room. So I'm Anna. let's go check out this room. Here is the colorful yet neutral, vintage but clean lines, feminine but not old lady bedroom. This larger I made in video two of this bedroom series. It hangs opposite to the bed and I painted it the same color as the walls and then just added some more pinks and creams in the hope of making something calming to see before falling asleep. That canvas was originally painted by my sister over 15 years ago for a bathroom that used to be black and white and then it was stored in the garage until now. Hanging this Ikea frame was a little tricky, but it hasn't fallen off the wall yet. I did see this frame painted gold and it looks really cool, but I feel the room needs some neutral grounding, so I left it black. This is the gorgeous print from Olive and Oak. I didn't know that it would be a glossy print when I printed it, and I don't love the glossy print. So I might switch that out at some point to a matte textured paper print. This poor frame. It was dropped, then I broke the glass, but I think I rescued it. It fits in that space above the bed like I actually measured and looked for that exact size. That didn't happen. This was being thrown out at a retirement home. It was a trash rescue. The bed is the second most prominent feature in this room after the pink walls. So I picked cream bedding to tone down all that pink and make the room more sophisticated and grown up. It helped that my mom already had the cream sheets. The duvet cover was a Facebook marketplace find. And I still can't get over how awesome the headboard turned out. It's funny knowing what the headboard actually looks like under the fabric and foam. I had those pink fluffy pillows from forever ago and thought they might add some fun to the bed. This is an indigo blanket and they have great blankets. I added it as another layer of texture and it's perfect for curling up on the reading chair. I don't know how people perfectly fluff blankets to make them look like they were just casually dropped. I fluffed for way too long. These are Ikea lamps that my brother left when he moved out. They just happen to be the exact colors and style for this room. To keep the look simple, I added these vases that my mom had in storage. So this styling was totally free. Free really helps me stay on budget. I did the same for the nightstand on the other side of the bed. I really think these nightstands look adorable in pink and gold. They're my favorite furniture flips in this room. No, wait, the headboard is, I think. I wanted to tie in all the colors from the room into the decor on the dresser, black, cream, gold, and pink. I played around with different ideas, but I thought that a little dish would be the most useful. It can hold hair accessories, receipts, a cell phone, like a drop zone to keep the rest of the dresser tidy. The lamp is my DIY project from video four. A couple books and a candle brings in the cozy Hugo concept for the reading corner. By reading, I still totally mean YouTube watching. Let's be realistic. I'm not sold on the gold color on the mirror, so I might sneak back and antique it still. A basket of extra pillows and blankets finish off the cozy corner. Adding greenery takes away from the basement bedroom feel. I moved it around because it looked too crowded next to the dresser. I know it's a faux plant, but it still feels fresh. And that's the room tour, from spare room and Lego storage to budget but stylish bedroom.
So what do you think? Is it too pink or did I pull it off? Let me know in the comments. This is the final video in this bedroom makeover series. And if you didn't see the other videos, check out our channel and you can see them all. Well, I'll see you soon with another project. Bye. What did I, how do I start? I said it 400 times, how can I remember? Okay.